All right, here we are. We have a time limit of 15 hours. Let's move out. We are looking to... Uh, I think a carrier should be the one to load up. So we will move to the life pods. And what I'll do is I will take our destroyers, not escorts, destroyers, and also, no, those are missile destroyers, these guys. So I'll take these guys and split them off and send them in on their own. Because they're faster, which means they'll get there sooner and they will provide overwatch and early warning. Ooh, are they even going to be able to make it in time? They're three days out. Jeez. These guys are two days out. Yeah, we're not going to make it. Damn. So close. So disappointing. I uh, just move to the wreck instead. Hold on, life pods. We're coming. Okay, there they are. And, nope, too late. <sighs> well, we might not have been able to save them, but we can definitely avenge them. Shell water 2. Contacts. Follow at uh, 130,000 kilometers. Actually, a better idea would be to head back towards there. I will close in first. That's close enough. Then we will turn around and we will head back to Shellwater at 6,000 speed. And now we will take the Melbournes. And automate them. Okay. <clears throat> and we will have 
probably a good half an hour of laser blasting before the shell waters um, get within range of our uh, attack ships. I better slow them down a bit more. Okay, speed up. Uh, they're within range of the spinal cannon, and now they're going to be within range of our secondary cannons. Any second now, they're going to be within range of our fire controls. There they go. They're already starting to cripple them now. Hundred and thirty should be fine. Okay, and now we speed up to full speed or ten six 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 specifically. That will match their speed almost exactly. And yeah, we're already scoring massive kills. Look at that. Absolutely shredding. I'm not sure our AMMs are going to be able to do anything at all. Um, we'll probably save it for the Queen then. Because our AMMs are going to be able to fire extremely rapidly and we're going to be able to dish out several hundred damage every couple of seconds with those. Um, and there's no way in hell that it's going to have enough point defense to shoot down a substantial number of those. So that will provide a lot of firepower. And that is, of course, you know, uh, even discounting the far superior uh, laser fire power that we're bringing this time around.
Almost. And pow. That looks like it's it. All right, turn around and head to back towards Ming 36. Boom. Right. Okay. Next, we'll head out and we'll see if we can find out where they are. Um, what I might do do we have any spare ex explorer ships? What's this guy doing? Jump point survey, geo survey. Mm. We do not have any spare explorers. Um, the only thing with sensors that we have is our sensor boat. Um, so what I might do e now is oh, cancel that. But I will take the Waramonga, detach it. Because it's capable of outrunning any fighters anyway. And we will send it to explore all the inner systems. Or all the inner planets. So move to... Move to... Move to... Move to... Move to... Move to... It'll be able to see a queen away before it gets anywhere close as well. Because they're very very large anyway there we go better take the destroyer fleet and send them back to shoal water just so they don't get caught because they don't actually have their own um, they don't have their own sensors. Oh, there it is. Okay, that was easy. All right, Waramanga. We'll follow at that ten million. Yeah, that's about ten million. Um, and shell water will follow at eight hundred thousand. Oh, that was a hundred million. So, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand million, 
10 million. Yeah, 10 million. Okay. Well out of range. Uh, yeah, no, that, that'll do. That'll do. Um, what's it doing? Laura Monka. Oh, that's a million. Ten million, hundred million. Okay, that's better. It looks like she's turning this way a bit. So she's obviously seen us. Um, I think I will get Shellwater to move to to move and follow Waramonga. Because Waramonga has the very nice resolution one sensor that will spot those fighters out to 50 million kilometers. Um, and I think I think uh, Shellwater has it as well, but I don't really want to take that risk. Now, first things first, we need to pop its swarm. So, to Brook One, you will detach and move to fire. Hopefully just being shot at will be enough to make a trigger. Um, I won't have to actually take damage. How far off is it? It is at 33. I believe that's actually enough. There we go. Six fire as well. Hmm. 
took damage. Also, they didn't have any point defense. Either that, or they were just too fast for his point defense. That's weird. Oh well, we'll see what happens. That's weird. Shell water land. There they are. Okay. So what we need then is we need to get into AMM range. So Warramonga, you'd better pull back. Uh, so what we'll do is Shoalwater will move to 100,000. No. 100 million. Shoalwater will move to 100, follow at 100 million. Shoalwater 2 is following Shoalwater and Waramunga will also follow Shoalwater. And that... Uh, what I might actually do is shell water using Luhu as a threat axis. I will sit it at two hundred thousand kilometers with no offset. So what this basically means is that. As long as you don't give it any other, other order, it will sit between Shellwater and Luhu at a distance of 200,000 kilometers from, from Shellwater. Uh, and Shellwater 1 is the superior command. There. That should get it moving in the right direction. Yes, good. It is moving. So 200,000 kilometers is within uh, AMM. Uh, firing range, so that will uh, hopefully provide it with the firepower it needs or the protection it needs. That's alright, we'll recover the contact in a few seconds. There they are. Question is, do I want to send the destroyers after an, or not? I think I do, because we do want to save at least a little bit of ammo, so get moving. Okay, we're closing in now. Oh, shell water has begun moving away. So Ming is definitely going to be able to catch up to Shoalwater because it's obviously much faster than it is. But it's going to take it a while and Shoalwater 2 should be able to provide the firepower required to take them out. Oh, Nelly, that's close. Okay, okay. Pull back immediately.
Okay, good. It's moving. Uh, they're moving. We are safe. We'll slow down a bit to 10,000. Oh. It's a little bit too fast and it's going to outrun them. Uh, we're getting kills, which is excellent. And they are very slowly closing distance, which means more damage for us. Better accuracy too. Okay, still scoring good hits. <clears throat> We're still outside their range as well. Interesting, the range seems to be less than 100,000 kilometers. Considering how, how few of them there are now, they're going to require a seriously lucky hits to actually um, kill one of our... Okay, so it looks like it's around 96,000. So we will now take Shell Water 2 and we will speed it up. Lost the damage control. Got some great points. Absolutely wrecking them now. Four and six damage. So they got five ships left. We're at a hundred thousand, so we can slow it down again. Ten for six six. Set. And who took the damage? Mastiff. Okay. Begin this damage control. Begin damage control to fix the damage control. Sure. <clears throat> Not many left. And boom. Right. Okay. That should be all the fighters now dead. So, shell water 2 at top speed. Follow shell water and shell water 1 will close in. To Luhu at one million kilometers. And if we happen to cross their fighter, we'll pop an AMM up their ass. <clears throat> Uh, 
Uh, we'll give it to Peacock. No, that's a point of fence. Pixie, Pixie will have it. Can have it. We just need the one volley. Snap and kill. All right. Let's go bag us another queen. Okay, we're down to four million kilometers range. All right, we ha now have full range to targets. So Vikings launch, Nighthawks launch. Uh, this also means that we can now set up our groups as well. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So. Uh, so we have Vikings. Wait, no. Vikings. And that is going to get these guys. And we are going to add a second group. Uh, Hawks. There we go. Okay. So now we have our two wings. So let's go ahead and begin ops. First of all, I think our fighters actually have enough fire control to hit them from where they are. Let's have a look. Yep, that's within range. That's going to be fun. Fleet open fire. River. No, not river. Sheehan. Assign all your weapons to Luhu 2. And open fire. Actually, do the arrows too. So if you so if it has arrows because we do have some fire, otherwise don't bother. And shell water two, assuming there's anything left by the time you actually get there, follow it at one hundred thousand kilometers and put some lasers in its face.
All right, have both wings launched? Yes, good. Land and begin reloading. This is going to be so much damage coming at it. I really need to upgrade my AMMs though. Um, now that I have the two and a half engine multiplier, I'm going to be able to get my AMMs substantially more powerful. Uh, because the power of anti-missile system missiles rely it comes from its speed So that was a hundred and a hundred AMMs just hit it and 15 Arrows just hit it its shields are down to 365 Yep, taking a bit of extra time to process. Uh, I think that other one hit. I don't know. But the shields are down to 295 now. Eighty nine hits. Down to two twenty six. Some more arrows coming. No, that's the torpedoes. Oh, go away. Alright, we got 42 hits from the torpedo and 91 hits from the AMM. Alright, shields have been breached. Uh, better tell the Tobrooks to cease fire. Why haven't they docked yet? That's weird. Oh well. <clears throat> Wait, no, I was going to have a look at the damage readouts. Yeah, we're starting to knock out uh, engines and fuel tanks. The AMMs are going to strip out a huge chunk of armor every time they hit as well. Because, um, you know, it's a couple of hundred points of armor, if not. Yep, knocked out a power system, so that means it's going to be losing uh, weapons as well. Yeah, those torpedoes were absolutely devastating when they hit. Just didn't know what hit it. Just, you know, couldn't handle it. <clears throat> Alright, more hits. And again, this, ladies and gentlemen, is called Send Blasting. And uh, Shellwater 2 has finally come within weapons range, so that's opening fire now as well. Uh, better slow him down a tad. There we go. That way they're not bouncing too far in and out of range. Another lot of AMMs. About to hit.
16 hits of 4 damage from the lasers. Uh, I almost feel sorry for this queen, but it's doing a bang up job at holding out. Probably because the AMMs are not doing any kind of shock damage at all. It looks like its point defenses have failed completely. Oh, okay, it's lost its, it's lost its sensor. So I can't even see these coming anymore. And destroyed. Who got the kill? Pitbull got the kill. Alright. Pitbull, 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 where are you? Still no commander! Come on! None of my destroyers have any commanders. Another queen dead and no medals to give out. <sighs> hopeless. Utterly hopeless. Well, I think with the death of another queen, uh, we can probably uh, put a cut in there now. Uh, we'll go ahead and back up. Um, I'll keep going until... Um, I, I do want to get an, uh, find an NPR and show you full-on war um, and how to deal with that. So we'll keep playing until we get that. Uh, but at this stage, I'll probably do some other Let's Plays uh, alongside this one. Uh, but for this one, we will keep going. And uh, for now, I will see you tomorrow.